Hello friends and welcome to another video of the series Practical Hands-on in Physics and Electronics. In this video, we'll study the IV characteristics of a Zener diode. What is a Zener diode and how it is different from a normal PN junction diode? Zener diodes are highly doped PN junctions. Normal diodes are not designed to operate in the breakdown region, but Zener diodes can reliably operate in this region. This is the symbol for Zener diode, this is the anode and it is the cathode. Now when a Zener diode is heavily doped, the depletion layer is very narrow. When the voltage across the diode is increased in reverse bias, the electric field across the depletion layer becomes very intense. At very high fields, electrons are pulled out from the covalent bonds. Thus, a large number of electron hole pairs are produced and the reverse current sharply increases. This effect is called Zener effect or Zener breakdown. It decreases with temperature because with increase in temperature, the kinetic energy of electrons increases, thermal vibration also increases, which also helps in the breaking of covalent bonds. Finally, the applications of Zener diode. It is used as voltage regulator, voltage reference and also in voltage clamping circuits. So next task is to study Zener diode in forward bias mode. To achieve this, we need a power supply, micrometer, breadboard and a Zener diode. Before starting the experiment, we have to check whether the Zener diode is working fine or not. Now this can be done easily using a multimeter. Now the method of checking a diode using multimeter is already discussed in our earlier video where we determine the Boltzmann constant. So we are not repeating that method here. So this is the circuit. We have a power supply, micrometer and Zener diode in series with each other. So let's start making the connection. So the positive terminal of the power supply is connected to positive of the micrometer. The negative terminal of the micrometer is connected to P side of the Zener. And N side of the Zener is connected to negative terminal of the power supply. So we can zoom it and see this is connected to this and these are connected. So now switch on the power and slowly increase the voltage. So we can see till 0.7 volts there is no significant variation in the current. If increases to 0.75, the current increase to about 50 microampere. And now we have to increase the voltage in very small steps 0.76, 77, 78, 79, and 0 0.8. So at 0 0.8, we are getting current of about 440 microamperes. So we can plot this. So this is the curve. We can make a tangent to this curve like this to determine the value of knee voltage. It's about 0.7 volts. So next is to study Zener diode in reverse bias mode. Now here we need an extra resistor of 100 ohm. So this is a circuit. We have a power supply, micrometer or milliammeter, 100 ohm resistor and a Zener diode in reverse bias mode. So positive terminal of the battery is connected to positive terminal of the micrometer. Negative terminal of the micrometer is connected to one end of the 100 ohm resistor. The other end of the resistor is connected to N of the Zener and P side of the Zener is connected to negative terminal of the voltage source or power supply. We can also zoom and see these two are connected. These two are also connected and finally it is connected to this. 
so now let's switch on the circuit and uh, increase the voltage so you can see till 6 volt the current is very small now beyond 6 volt we have to increase the voltage in very small steps so like this 6.1 6.2 6.3 and 6.4 so current has overshoot and uh, it is beyond the range of the microemitter. So we'll replace microemitter with milliemitter now and further increase the voltage 6.5, 6.7, 6.8 till 7 volts. So now the current is about 5.4 milliampere. Now let's plot it. So the shape of the curve is like this. After 6 volt, the current increases very sharply. We can make a tangent and this is the point of breakdown, also called Zener breakdown voltage. I hope this video is of some help to you. If you like it, share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for future videos.